it. He may or may not. Oh, he's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> So I'm just going to take this clean washcloth and I'll wipe one eye with one end and then we'll go to the other end of the washcloth so it's there. Okay, pour some soap on it. Get your cold, your cold. And people always ask, oh, his ears are getting wet. Well, his ears have been wet for a long time. <laughs> so it's been inside the amniotic fluid, so it's not going to hurt him. Where they get dirty, or he's not dirty, but if he gets, when he spits up or does anything, it's probably going to roll down under his neck and behind his ears. No. So don't forget behind his ears. Do they still make you wait a week before he gets another bath? Um, well, wait until the um, umbilical cord comes off. Okay, because I want to sure keep it dry. <laughs> yes. So it's easy, though, to wash, you know, body parts. You can always wash his neck or his head if he gets sweaty, old, stinky head because he's, you know, spit up or something. But um, for the most part, he doesn't need a full-on bath. Okay. And then to wash his hair, this is gentle shampoo, probably a baby shampoo. And I usually take that comb that I... Found ahead of time and <laughs> to get the crud out. And I just leave a little bit of stuff in there. And most baby poos love their baths as long as they don't feel <laughs> like they're all loose. <laughs> Got some Kids' bath time is always this huge morning ritual, especially with her. We get her up first thing, and we do our thing. And okay. She was special. Why do you think you look pretty? By the time clean? you came along, it was like, ah, he's a little bit dirty. That's okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, you're going to hand me the towel. I'll put the towel on my shoulder. Yeah, Chris never got a bath, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. You got the middle? Or the, the, middle? In the youngest. Oh, yeah. Well, he's the middle. Well, oh. these two are the middle. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Are they girls? Are they? No. Oh. They might as well be. 